dreaded entertainment. What the fuck is up? It is your little killer here, Akasan. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways, right before Anime Expo is about to begin, we have a Death Note. This is going to be the official trailer that has been released, not a teaser, official trailer from Netflix. As somebody, I think YouTube or somebody post put it like the first official trailer for Emo Note. I mean, Death Note is out. And I'm like. You ain't right about that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. I want to see, like I said, I'm coming in here with an open mind. Not open legs, but open mind. I've seen almost every iteration of Death Note. So um, for me, I'm going to take this with a grain of salt. Wait and see, basically. And fuck, it's Netflix. I already paid for it. So <laughs> anyways, Doo -doo. let's go ahead and take a look. Here we go. All the people that make life miserable, make life dangerous. Okay. What if we can change things? That shit comes out next uh, in two months. Two months from now. Okay, I got two months to finish my own Death Note uh, short film. It's like six minutes, but I, I okay. I got two months. Okay, August twenty fifth, it comes out. I got two months to finish mine. Uh, so, because um, that's what I, that was my new goal was just to time it around the same time this one comes out. So the marketing is right around around the same time people are searching for it. They can take a look at mine, enjoy it, while they can enjoy uh, um, this one. So I'm trying to get it comparable, but now I'm a little relaxed actually because I feel like I don't have much of a uh, standard to <laughs> compete against. Um, and I'm not trying to say there's anything wrong with. Um, uh, the look of this movie uh, it's a movie right is it a series fuck i don't even know i think it's a movie just a one shot right just maybe not fuck i don't even know actually um hold on like but like okay aesthetically it feels good justice is coming blah 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 death note only on netflix it, it doesn't make it clear at all okay um let me see real quick. Intoxicated by blah, 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 famous. Streaming on Netflix. It doesn't fucking say at all. Like, if it's a movie or not. Okay. Damn, I guess. I guess. Oh, I'll add it to my list right now. You can, we can. Let's watch it together on Rift TV, okay? Uh, uh, 
Yo, it doesn't, yeah, it really doesn't say if it's going to be, it just says Netflix original, the teaser's up there, it doesn't say. Okay. Wow. Um, here, okay, here's my deal. If it's a TV show, I have a little more hope for it, I, in some sense, and uh, feel me on this, it's annoying that we're going to have to sit through this a lot more, but I think... It's gonna, t if it's a TV show, at least there's going to be a bit of an adjustment period. I'm gonna have to, it's gonna take time to get used to some of these characters or so. If it's a movie, I think I straight out would not like it because, uh, I think what's happening for me personally, w the way I'm feeling is, I feel like it's trying too hard to keep to the original tone, but. By, le by using the original tone, by having that original tone, it's still not good enough to be better or even the same on the same level, basically. Uh, it, was like a, it was actually an interesting quote I was reading about 10 months ago, almost a year ago, when I went to LA and I had this collaboration uh, with a bunch of different YouTubers in LA and one of them we were uh, talking about Batman v Superman and people were already biased against me being on this particular person's channel because he's just, oh, because I fucking hates everything DCEU does, which is incorrect, of course. Yes, I'm wearing a Marvel shirt. Anyways, my main point was um, the, the whole issue about Batman killing and such and somebody made a really good point, well, you know, it's one thing, because I made a point about source material, Christopher Nolan has stated that source material doesn't matter, telling a good story is all that matters, And um, but then I went on to say Jonathan Nolan is, was involved in at least guiding a good story, but keeping to the core values, and we got into the whole Batman killing situation that Snyder didn't really have any sort of I, reason for doing it other than just, oh, it's fucking cool, basically. Or at least he has a reason, but it hasn't been explained to us. And uh, a lot of the people were fighting, and then a lot of people also defended me as well, and they were just saying, well, that no, that is the essence of telling a good story, is the fact that you can change things, little things, subtle things, but doing something that changes the core value of someone, of a character, diminishes the entire character where it's beyond recognizable uh, and such. And I think what I'm seeing here with Death Note is the fact that we base it, it's similar to what I'm seeing with uh, the Shingeki no Kyojin movie, Attack on Titan live action movie, where they had the fake Levi, uh, fucking fake Levi, but they called him like, something the strongest man and, and everybody knew it was him but it wasn't his sa the same name he even had the cleaning problem so i think what i'm seeing is something similar here is we're we're having we have kira kira we have black l basically <laughs> and and it would be interesting if there were honorable mentions to the original character but the fact that they're so blatantly being the original characters, but making American changes to it or so, or Western changes, that it's almost an insult to the original character to begin with. I don't know what it was, but there were, and for me, there were two notable situations that I thought, I'm assuming that was, so that was Kira, white Kira, or whatever, Kira. Um, that is interesting that I first noted Black L, but I didn't say White Kira. But anyways, we got Kira uh, doing his particular, or Yamaguchi, Light Yamaguchi, well, I guess it's not going to be his name anymore, but defending a woman and being the typical emo, I got bullied, I was trying to do what's right, but I got my ass whooped and handed to me, so instead of shooting up a fucking school, I'm going to get the death note and just shoot up the world. <laughs> Kill the world. <laughs> Sakujo. Uh, <laughs> shout outs to people who got that reference. Let me know below. And then, so that kind of irked me a little bit is the fact that, okay, I get it. I get it, but it's not convincing me because it's just you put a bunch of stu usual tr teenage trolls, um, plot devices and called a death note, basically, and added a death note in there. The... 
L, this version of L, I, I think what was bothering me was just, and that's why I'm saying maybe in the as a TV show it would work a lot better for me, but because it, it just was the adjustment of hearing his voice, and I get it, he's covering his face, so he's covering his face so that people, um, no one will recognize him, I guess. But for him to be in public like that, but it was like, uh, I don't know, there were some character traits that I know so much about L. I don't really see L being that person to go out there uh, in a press conference and then, but we knew, but still the other traits of him sitting in the chair all weird and shit, it was there. So I don't know, it was just a little weird for me. I don't know. Um, I'm still on that wait and see point. I mean, okay, what I will say what does look good at this moment right now is William Defoe. William Defoe's voice, perfect for Ryuk. Um, how they're gonna do it, I don't know, but I think that was supposed to be Mika Mika or Misa Misa in there as well. I mean, it might work, it might work, guys. I don't know, just that first, just similar, very similar to when I saw Batman the first time on the trailers and such that impression of knowing something you've loved so much and then seeing this version of it so weird or just so different it it doesn't really flow so well in the beginning but maybe in time it might get better i don't know i don't know but I mean, I'm looking, it'll be a very, regardless, it'll be a very interesting ride we're all going to take, I think, right before I fly out to L.A. So, <laughs> August 25th, yeah, we can all watch it together. Have a little party on Rift.tv. Okay, guys, stand, Red Dread Nation, stand up, speak up. Sorry about that long rant, but I felt it was necessary to mention some things and such. Um, let's, let, let's see how this goes, okay? Let me know what you guys thought about this. Yay, nay, or wait and see. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.